Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Game News Roundup where we go over the latest gaming news, gaming sales, gaming industry information that comes out, and we've got some breaking news from this morning here in the United States. Microsoft and the FTC held hearings last couple of weeks, um, with the FTC trying to block Microsoft's Activision Blizzard acquisition. However, Judge Corley has now ruled and has denied the FTC's preliminary injunction for trying to block the deal and has ruled in favor of Microsoft. Microsoft can officially almost nearly close on its Activision Blizzard acquisition. The ruling allows Microsoft to close its Activision Blizzard deal ahead of the current July 18th deadline as a temporary restraining order that allows FTC to appeal a decision has been reduced to three days from five business days, which means three days means temporary restraining order ends at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time this Friday, July 14th. So technically starting Saturday, Microsoft, if they wanted to close the deal, they can close the deal with their Activision Blizzard acquisition, which, was go which has been going on at this point for pretty much 18 months. It was announced in January of 2022. It is now July of 2023. 18 months later. Oh, boy. So yeah, the full appeal, um, the statement from Judge Corley was... Oh, I can open this up here. It is 50... 53 pages long. 53 pages is her statement of the order here. Which we got a few of the quotes. I'm not going to read the entire statement. That's a lot to go through, even if a lot of it, as you can see, is redacted. And actually is redacted. If you remember going over certain things, well, you know. Certain things that were redacted ended up still being legible, so we actually got some industry information, which is kind of cool. And again, I do have videos on that, so feel free to check those out. Um, but yeah, so direct quote from Judge Corley. Four weeks ago, the FTC filed this action to preliminary and join the merger pending completion of the FTC um, administrative action. Uh, because the merger has a July 18th termination date, expedited proceedings were commenced after considering the party's volum voluminous uh, pre- and post-hearing writing submissions and, have he and having held a five-day evidentiary uh, hearing, the court denies the motion for preliminary induction. Denies, in all caps. The FTC has not shown it is likely to succeed on its assertion that co the combined from a probably pull Call of Duty, uh, combined being Microsoft, Activision, Blizzard, from Sony PlayStation, or that its ownership of Activision content will substantially lessen competition in the video game library subscription and cloud gaming markets. She concluded Microsoft's acquisition of, Acti of Activision has been described as the largest in tech history. It deserves scrutiny. That scrutiny has paid off. Referring to that Microsoft has committed in writing in public and in court to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation for 10 years on parity with Xbox. It made an agreement with Nintendo to bring Call of Duty to Switch, and it entered several agreements to the first time, for the first time, bring Call of Duty, um, Activision's games, Call of Duty included, uh, content to several cloud gaming services. So, basically saying, yes, the FTC, other regulators, yes, your scrutiny has won and paid off that Microsoft has had to sign deals again. Um, with Nintendo to bring Call of Duty to Nintendo, and obviously they've also offered the same deal to Valve for Steam. Valve said, ah, we don't need to sign it, we, we trust you, Microsoft. And they've offered the same deal to Sony, which they have refused to sign. However, um, during the hearings, Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer, under oath, said they will keep Call of Duty on PlayStation for 10 years, under oath. So if they were to pull it, that means he lied under oath, and that could mean big fines, potentially jail time. So... It was enough for George, George Corley to be like, all right, this is, getting, this is getting crazy. So she ended up ruling in favor of Microsoft and against the FTC. And we've got some statements here. Um, and, of course, also, if you remember, the UK voted to block the deal. But we got some information on that coming up soon enough. But we got some quick statements to read. Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kojic, in an email sent to employees, stated... Today, a U.S. federal judge ruled in our favor, denying the FTC's attempt to block our merger with Microsoft. We're grateful to the court for the way this process was handled and the thoughtfulness of the decision. The U.S. joins the 38 countries where our deal can proceed. These decisions are based on facts and data. 
that show our merger is good for players, for competition, and the industry. We're optimistic that today's ruling signals a path to full regulatory approval elsewhere around the globe, referring to pretty much just the UK at this point. And we stand ready to work with the UK regulators to address any remaining concerns so our merger can quickly close. Working with them so they can quickly close the deal. This, we might be at the end of this, which obviously, if we do, I will let you all know. Uh, but yeah, and Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer, in a statement on Twitter, said the team is grateful to the court for swiftly deciding in our favor. The decision showed the Activision Blizzard deal is good for the industry and the FTC's claim about console switching, multi-game subscription services, and cloud don't reflect the realities of the gaming market. Since we first announced this deal, our commitment to bringing more games to more people on more devices has only grown. We've signed multiple agreements to make Activision Blizzard games, Xbox first party games, and Game Pass all available to more players than they are today. We know that players around the world have been watching this case closely, that's an understatement, and I'm proud to our efforts to expand player access and choice throughout this journey. Microsoft Vice Chair and President Brad Smith, we got a couple of statements from him. Uh, we're grateful to the court in San Francisco for this quick and thorough decision and hope other jurisdictions, obviously referring to the UK as we all know, will continue working towards a timely resolution. We've demonstrated consistently throughout this process we are committed to working creatively and collaboratively to address regulatory concerns. And now we've got a couple of statements here again from Smith as well as from the CMA in the UK. That's right. Uh, Smith in a statement ahead it. After today's court decision in the US, our focus now turns back to the UK. While we ultimately disagree with the CMA's concerns, we are considering how the transaction might be modified in order to address those concerns in a way that is acceptable to the CMA. In order to prioritize, work on these proposals, Microsoft and Activision have agreed with the CMA that a stay of litigation in the UK would be in the public interest and the parties have made a joint submission to the Competition Appeal Tribunal to this effect. So it sounds like the CMA, Microsoft, and Activision Blizzard are all coming together to work out a new deal, probably specifically to just the UK, and the CMA main concerns were with cloud gaming, so they might form out a niche where, like, right, we can't bring Activision Blizzard games to Xbox Cloud Gaming in the UK, maybe for 10 years, 20 years, I don't know. That's my guess is probably what they will end up working out a deal wise. But we will find out probably in the coming hours or days um, as the deal is supposed to close. The final deadline date is July 18th, so in a week's time. And again, the UK CMA has also released their own statement. So the CMA said, we stand ready to consider any proposals for Microsoft to restructure the transaction in a way that would address the concerns set in our final report, obviously, which was cloud gaming. In order to be able to prioritize work on these proposals, Microsoft and Activision have agreed with the CMA that a stay of litigation in the UK would be in the public interest, and all parties have made a joint submission to the Competition Appeal Tribunal to this effect. So we might be having in the coming hours and days, this deal might finally be over after a year and a half. This could be it. This could be it. Fingers crossed. Cross the fingers just to make sure. But, and again, the deal has been approved in South Africa, South Korea, China, the European Union, Ukraine, Japan, Chile, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, and Serbia. Um, and I believe the European Union was the only one that required any remedies in place in order for the deal to be closed off. Um, and obviously, and now it looks like it's pretty much been approved in the U.S., although the FTC has a few days to appeal, which, who does? They might. They might. But I don't think they will, considering... Considering the 53-page 50, report from Judge Corley. Absolutely crazy. But, I mean, also, this is, like, one of the fastest responses. Because of the deal closing, the deadline being July 18th, she wanted to get this out as quickly as she could um, for this ruling here. Um, normally, these things take potentially months before we get a full ruling. And then think about when they, when they stop talking, you know, with the hearings. And 53 pages done. She, she spent a lot of time getting this done and everything. Yeah, but yeah, the motion for preliminary injunction right there is therefore denied. It's denied, and yeah, it is so ordered. Dated July 10th, dated yesterday, which means potentially Microsoft, Activision, Blizzard, and FTC did see this sometime, probably late last night uh, when this was posted, although this wasn't t posted online until early this morning here in the United States. So, um, but yeah, here we are. This could be the end. So what do you all think? Is this it? Is the deal over? I mean, is it going to close? Is this the end? Are we good to go? Hopefully. 
maybe one more, I say one more video on this deal of potentially CMA and Microsoft re re coming to a conclusion, a deal, and then Microsoft closing the deal. Maybe one or two more videos on this deal, and that might be it. Who knows? We'll see. And of course, even once the deal is closed, there's still be a lot of information coming out. Like, all right, all right, what are the exact plans? What's going to happen and stuff? Obviously, um, there won't be any immediate changes. Maybe we'll see some Activision Blizzard games come to Game Pass. That's probably the biggest thing we might potentially see. Uh, I, don't, I don't expect any changes with Call of Duty at all. Uh, Sony still has their deal in place with Activision um, until the end of 2024. So I wouldn't expect Call of Duty on Game Pass until Jan January 1st, 2025. Or anything about, like, hey, you see marketing for Call of Duty right now. You still see the PlayStation logo along with it. Um, and maybe in 2025 we'll start seeing Call of Duty with the Xbox and Game Pass logo at the end of the commercials or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for today. This is potentially, potentially it. So yeah, if you enjoy this, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. And yeah, stay tuned. Um, again, links below to this article here, as well as the document from Judge Corley, the um, court documents that was released, the docket. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you all next time for some more gaming news, gaming sales, and gaming industry information. I'll see you all next time.